More Alec Baldwin news. Okay, so the latest that has been going on, there's lots of lawsuits that are coming Alec Baldwin's way right now. A few that actually have nothing to do with this incident. He's got about three, though, from people that were actually on the set. So one is from the script supervisor who was in the room whenever the shooting happened. She is saying that she needs compensation for emotional and physical distress as well as to be compensated for money that she's going to be losing in the future because she was intertwined with this tragedy. Baldwin and the producers that are named are claiming immunity and saying that they actually don't owe any money at all, saying that while she says that this was a negligence, uh, in intentional negligence that led to an unintended death, uh, she's saying it is that's why it's their fault. They're saying that in fact this would fall under more of a workers' compensation problem. So there was actually an example of this type of thing happening before. There was a case where a worker at a smelting plant died after a supervisor ordered him to remove a cauldron with molten slog. And the New York Supreme Court ruled that the willfulness is able to render a worker's injury non-accidental and outside the scope of workers' compensation, which is essentially what she's trying to do here. What Baldwin is saying is that nothing that she suggested indicated that anyone knew anything about the gun being loaded. So... I feel like this is all throwing mud at the situation in a lot of ways. I feel like these civil lawsuits are probably going to, and remember, there's been no criminal charges yet. So this is all kind of muddying the water in terms of what it means for a person to be responsible when it comes to their level of rank on the production itself. Uh, they're trying to get the state involved to say that perhaps they actually owe a certain amount of money because of workers' compensation. And this is all just... I feel like there are a lot of people that are trying to get their payday and good for them. I guess it, in this situation, you have to do what you can, especially if you're going to not be hired onto a lot of projects because you're identified with being with this rust shoot. I don't know exactly what the significance of this is in the broader scope of who is going to end up being held liable. We still don't have any criminal charges yet in this story. In terms of this, it'll be interesting to see how this is played out. I feel like these are minor dominoes that are going to end up sounding off how the public turns on Alec Baldwin and the rest of the production. I still think that Alec Baldwin has done enough damage on his own that the way that these court casings aren't going to matter if it goes in his favor. If it doesn't go in his favor, then I think that it is going to just continue to make him look worse and worse. So it's good for his own sake that he's shutting up now, but I don't think that these civil lawsuits are going to help his image at all. Uh, if anything, the more that they continue on and the more that things like this are in the news, in the headlines, as far as the public opinion goes, which is really more what I'm tracking on this channel, um, it's going to continue to drag his name through the mud. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the status of the Alec Baldwin conundrum? Leave your thoughts and comments down below and also subscribe to 5-Minute Critic for future updates on reviews and movies.